Perotto, or perotto as my family calls it, is a flaky, buttery flatbread. I've seen countless recipes for perotto, some which call for a highly enriched dough with lots of egg, and others that call for semolina to add crunch. In my recipe, I try to keep the ingredients simple and just use flour, water, salt, and ghee. Experienced street vendors use a sling back and slap method to make the dough thin. Not having mastered this graceful maneuver myself, I opt to tug and stretch out each corner of the dough, which works just as well. I brush a flour ghee mixture across the papery thin dough, the ghee provides laminated layers, much like a croissant, and the flour helps keep the layers distinct and separate. Next, I pleat the dough from one end to the other so it looks like an accordion. I like to pretend that because I've mastered pleating a perota, the next time I wear a sari, I would magically know how to pleat it on my own. I coil the pleats up into little spirals, roll them out onto the size of my hand, and griddle them until there are dark brown speckles all over. It's so satisfying to scrunch and squish the perotas to release their flaky layers so that moments later I can rip it all apart 